Hi guys, uh, today in this video I'm going to show you how you can run Airflow uh, Dataprox uh, serverless job. So basically uh, you can run uh, Dataprox uh, serverless uh, job from the Airflow. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. In Google Cloud if you type uh, Dataprox uh, you will uh, go to screen like this and from there if you go to batch job that would be serverless. I have already done a video on how you can run on a cluster after creating a cluster. This is just a, how you can run a batch job. So if you, in order to run a batch job, uh, you, uh, this is the operator that uh, we are using, uh, data pro create batch operator. Uh, I've just have given you the variables uh, which you can uh, include there. Uh, and then also the one that you need to install in order to get started in your Airflow environment. And there are a few documentation if you wanted to look at it, uh, Spark, BigQuery connections and connections example also here. And uh, don't worry guys, I'm going to provide you all the codes, uh, everything, so you don't have to worry uh, about anything else. Uh, so make sure you go to the YouTube description section and download everything you need. So here, this is just a simple layer for code. Uh, this is where the, your bucket, where you are supposed to upload your job. So basically, this is a just simple transfer of Google share price from a, a storage bucket to a Google BigQuery. Uh, and you, after taking this code, make sure you upload it to a bucket, uh, Google Cloud storage bucket, and then you need to replace this path for the bucket. And um, before uh, in before I do the demonstration, let me show you. Uh, this is the table that going to get created. If I run, you will see the uh, the values are coming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this table, uh, and then going to recreate it using the Airflow Spark job serverless job. So let's uh, go to the Airflow. So I have already run one time. So it's everything is ready. So let me go here and show you a bit of the code. And so let's start get running. I'm going to trigger manually. When, when you start get running that code here is start running. So if you go to your batch shop in the serverless area, it'll start a new job. So can you see that this is a new one started seven seconds ago. Let me refresh again. It will change the time 15 seconds. So if this one would start creating now, if I let's say if I run the big query code here, it should give me an error because it's still the table is not not is going to be there. So let's wait. It's going to take about one minute to like complete that job. So uh, I'm not going to go through any of the details here, guys. So uh, let me force the video here. Okay, guys, our job uh, indicated it gets success. Let me check on the Airflow as well. If I re refresh this, it should be uh, indicate uh, that got success. Let me the second run it's still showing is still running because it's take a bit of a time to Airflow to complete. Uh, Airflow to get complete uh, everything. So let's go to BigQuery and see whether our job. So earlier it was not there. Let me rerun it again. Okay, guys, our table got created. So that's it for this video, uh, guys. But before you go, I'm just going to show you one of the important things in this file. The one important thing is, is here uh, relating to your uh, BigQuery connections ver version. So this can be keep changing. So make sure you accord, change accordingly. But if you are using the code that I given for the next couple of years, it should be fine because I'm using the latest version. Um, if you wanted to ch look at the latest versions available, you can do that from uh, these below links. It will give you the uh, what are the latest versions available. If you go from this GitHub library uh, by Google Cloud, you will see the what is the latest version available according to the Sparks version. And let me know, guys, if you uh, I did the Spark job here, a uh, Pi Spark job, uh, whether you want to do a Spark job as well. Uh, the only difference going to be creating a Spark job with the Java file. Thank you, guys, for watching the video.